Hey friends, welcome back. This is the first lesson of the infinity cores. In the infinity cores, we're going to take you as far or as deep as um, we can possibly take any creature of existence. We're going to discover and explore what it's like to intuit, to realize the absolute or the infinite one or simply the one or infinity. And I think the best way to start this off is to share with you all how this realization dawned on me about four years ago from the date of shooting this video. I have been searching and finding and practicing and mastering what I now teach as my first teaching or the enlightenment teaching, presence and awareness. I had been relaxing into consciousness, into presence, into awareness, resting with the I am, um, seeing that all forms come and go and that awareness is what remains. So I had gained a real profound sense of freedom from realizing that I am actually awareness and not the things that appear and disappear. And all the other subtleties that come with that particular message, with that particular realization. However, after about, say, four years, of really being fully engaged with that, really being fully quote unquote realized or being able to recognize that fully, something happened. I became tired of awareness. I became tired of being. I became tired of being present all the time. I became very exhausted, in fact. It felt exhausting to me to even assert the idea or the feeling that there is an I am, that there is the sense of presence. So even resting as awareness became uninteresting to me, even though it had already become very natural and automatic in many ways. It felt at some point like it was still a chore to be here, to be, to exist. The very sense of I exist became somehow burdensome to me. Whereas previously, that was the great the liberating feeling that I could tap into and realize my greater self through. But now suddenly, even the presence of the greater self, even the presence of that undiluted, unconditional presence energy or awareness as well, somehow this became tiring to me. So this was the funniest feeling to me. It wasn't necessarily fun at the moment. It didn't feel like it was the funnest thing, but it was very interesting. Suddenly that which always set me free, which always gave me such a great sense of relief, now started to actually build up a certain type of tension, a certain type of exhaustion. So this put me back into the cycle of seeking again. And I had not been familiar with seeking for a few years because I had found what I was looking for. Not that I didn't continue to strive to fine tune that teaching and that realization, but that was not necessarily seeking, that's more exploration. But now I was put back into that familiar yet not so familiar anymore seat of being a seeker of something, not feeling like I have the answer. And to make a long story short, really, I was in this mode of seeking, this mode of depression, I could say. Um, and it, 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 um, it brought me to my path, certain books, obviously, and certain things. But what stood out to me the most is that as I was tired of awareness itself, I started to get the sense that awareness is not the absolute. Because I felt and I knew and I instinctively realized that if I can grow tired of something, even something as profound and omnipresent as awareness or presence, energy, then that must somehow not be what I am. Because how can you get tired of what you are? You can only grow tired and exhausted of maintaining something and you can never maintain what you are. You can only ever maintain what you're not. So therefore, it became intuitively obvious to me that 
there must be something beyond awareness. Now within the paradigms that I was taught and that I was teaching people, this was not necessarily accepted. This was not necessarily very familiar material or, or this idea was not that accessible in that way within that paradigm. So it was sort of a paradigm buster as well. But I was open as I always am to simply see the truth and not be insistent upon what I think I know. And obviously I wanted to somehow get rid of this tiredness, this sense of exhaustion, this sense of, ugh, it feels like a blah, just to have to exist all the time, to have to be present all the time. Not that I was even maintaining presence as in mindfulness teachings. It was freer than that. It was always already here. It was naturally recognized, but still, even the sense of identity of beingness and or awareness itself became heavy in my consciousness, in my awareness. So as I started to intuit this, I started to talk on the phone with a dear friend. He used to be a facilitator of my work. Um, and he was kind of sensing the same thing. So we had a few really awesome back and forth dialogues. And for us, again, both of us, it was sort of a paradigm buster. So we were, getting excited about just this magnificent sense of beyondness, this magnificent sense of there being something even greater, something even vaster, something even more indescribable than the indescribable awareness, which includes all experiences. So he was having at the same time, he was having similar intuitions, similar um, scenarios arise to his consciousness. And one thing that I know that sort of confirmed this for me externally, which was the first real confirmation of the external world that I found is this sentence I read in a book that said, the absolute is beyond consciousness. The teacher uh, of that book was Nisargadatta Maharaj. So the book was, I'm not sure what book it was exactly, but it might have been I Am That, but somewhere like I Am That teaches all about I Am, teaches all about presence, teaches all about consciousness. But somewhere in that book, he made a brief reference to the fact that consciousness is not actually the absolute. And that was perfectly coincidental with what I was going through, what I was sensing. So obviously law of attraction did its job and it brought to me confirmations of things that had already started to embody in, in my field of awareness. And so when I read that, it just sort of threw me over the edge. I was like, okay, well, if this guy says it, not that I was ever one to really adore a teacher or put them above myself, but it was just this beautiful moment of confirmation of what I was sensing. So I appreciated that moment as a confirmation as evidence of what I was discovering intuitively. And it threw me in a meditation, I guess you could say, where I just felt like, okay, just stay with those words for a moment. The absolute is beyond consciousness. What are the implications of that? Well, there is a few very, very profound implications. One of the first things that came to mind was, well, if the absolute is beyond consciousness, then in order to find it, in order to discover or realize this, I have to look not inside of the realm of experiences, but I have to stay at the threshold, at the very edge of what consciousness enables me to do, which is be conscious of experiences and realize that if it's beyond consciousness, it doesn't just mean it's yet another experience of consciousness. It actually signifies that it is beyond consciousness, that what I'm intuiting is actually not of this world. In fact, it's not of any world. In fact, it's not even of the experiencer, the great I am experiencer of all worlds. It's the source of consciousness. I also realized that if consciousness is, if it's present, if it is here, if awareness is, then it must not be the absolute because whatever is has the limitation of isness, the limitation of that it has to be. And that's exactly what I grew tired of. That's exactly what started to exhaust me. And so this was very swift for me as it is for most people when it hits home is that you realize that there is this infinite indescribable vastness that cannot be described because it's not an experience, but you can intuit that source is beyond all 
that there can ever be in terms of experiences. So initially I started calling this teaching Beyond Experiencing. Now I've started to call it Infinity. So I just wanted to give you this little introduction of how this realization dawned on me. So the purpose of the Infinity teaching, and in particular this course inside of the Academy, is to help you realize that awareness has a source. That source truly is infinite. Now this is a really mind expanding, consciousness expanding, awareness expanding realization. And just a little disclaimer, there is no words that can act and adequately describe the experience of a non-experience or the intuition of what's beyond all experience. The intuition, the intuitive sense, the intuitive realization of infinity, of vastness, of beyond experiencing. It's such a paradox because in a way we're trying to make you understand or experience that which is beyond all consciousness, all knowledge, all understanding and all experience. So just take words not as absolute truths, as always, but as pointers, allowing your attention when you follow the words, when you follow the pointers, to realize something more profound. So I want you to come to the understanding, to come to the intuitive knowingness that awareness has a source. And just by playing, spending some quote unquote time or consciousness at the very edge or the very threshold of awareness, you will come to realize the infinite vastness that I speak of in this video in this course. This course will also be shorter than uh, the other teachings because quite frankly I don't have that much to say about it. It's quite self-explanatory once you actually start to take glimpse it. So mostly what this teaching consists of inside of the academy is pointers, different angles, different types of meditations and each work can either work for you or not work so well for you. So just as you go through these different meditations that will follow in the next chapter, just sit with them one by one. Of course, take one day each to explore and feel that one out. And if it doesn't work, just forget about it for a while and try one of the other ones. And then eventually you'll find a way, a method that gives you some kind of a glimpse of the fact that, well, I'll get into all those specifics in the next few videos. Um, for now, just, Enjoy the knowingness that you are about to enter a realm of endless peace. That is a peace that's indescribable. It's a peace that's even beyond the peace, which can even turn into a burden, as you've heard from my story, of presence. As you know, presence is very stable. It's very reliable. It's very peaceful. But comparatively to the infinite gap or vastness, of the enabler of all that is, the source of all that is, that which never becomes any of its creations, will always forever remain beyond whatever is experienced, will always forever remain even beyond the experiencer of experiences, and even the field of all that is, of pure experiencing, even beyond that, there's just whew, the infinite gap, the infinite black hole, the infinite endless nothingness, the infinite endless potential for all that is, infinity the one and you're going to be able to tap into this and you're going to be able to extract a very profound sense of peace and rejuvenate your consciousness when you take these moments you'll rejuvenate your consciousness to be interested once again in exploring experiences and exploring what it's like to empower one's individual consciousness which is what i teach in the empowerment teachings but it's for many people fairly important to also realize the one to also have a direct experiential quote unquote non-experiential glimpse of infinity so enjoy and i'll see you in the next video